Hi, Gemini Moons. Thank you so much for being here. I am Divine from Care at 144. Very happy, grateful, and blessed to bring you this reading. This reading is designed for those who have their moon sign in the zodiac sign of Gemini. Unlimited to anyone who should find this message or should this message find you. For your reading, I will be doing a three card spread. Technically, a six card spread. I'll be clarifying those three cards. So I'll be using two different decks here. I have already pre-shuffled the decks. I will shuffle the deck, the first deck. As you can see, we have a card. Well, no, I'll shuffle both of the decks here. One more time before we begin your reading. You had some messages that wanted to come through as I was shuffling. What I'm getting here is that we have a person who is disloyal here. This is the King of Pentacles in reverse. And um, that's it. This person could have a lot of money, but there's some instability connected to this. I'm hearing some other things, but I do feel that um, if you're resonating with this, then there is a connection here, but you are doing your best to rise above any kind of judgment when it comes to this particular energy and what has taken place connected to the disloyal energy that's coming through. King energy is a part of Emperor energy. Pentacles is Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle this back in. And then I'll get to the other message that wanted to come through from the other deck here. I do feel that this is um, about an ending coming into a new beginning. The new beginning, you'll be able to see um, exactly what I'm talking about here. Let me get the shuffle. All right, so your next message that wanted to show itself the deck had split after I had come across the King of Pentacles in reverse here and I just happened to look at this deck here and notice that it had split in half I turned this part the top part over and this was what was on the bottom we have the ace of wands here where I was getting a new beginning but I'm also getting there being some sexual energy and passion and desire for you when it comes to another person. But I do feel that um, with there being that ending energy, this being one energy tends also representing the one energy as well. Endings coming into new beginnings. Um, you did have, this wanted to peek through as well. I left this just like this on purpose so I could be able to pull this away, but the Eight of Cups is here. And for the collective, uh, the post that I've been doing, the Eight of Cups has been pretty prominent over the last two weeks or so. Just walking away from what does not serve. So I'm just getting a lot of you in this energy here. Moving towards emotional fulfillment and your wishes come true by doing what's best for you. Being in that one energy and that champion energy and with having this from within yourself, there will be that person. I feel that you have this belief and you have this knowing because this is how you represent yourself. You're the change that you're desiring here. And so because you know that you would choose yourself right away, anyone who is not choosing you, you're moving away from that. You're not attempting to try to fix anyone, to try to make anything work that is not working. You're not forcing anything. You're going with the flow of things and not wasting any time either. 
So moving into a new beginning, Ace of Wands energy. This is fire energy. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, and Ephesus. Cups energy. Water energy. Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, and Ephesus. A lot of your energy manifesting this walking away here. And I'm getting a third party situation here. Walking away from this. You're no longer wanting to manifest this. I feel that if it presents itself in any kind of way, in any kind of situation, whether it be friendship, romantic, family, what have you, you're out of it. And I feel that because you're putting that out into the universe, this is very similar to the last reading, but because you're putting this out into the universe, the universe is seeing you through and making sure that you receive what it is that you're asking for because you're asking for it. So good job. Eight and one coming together to create a nine energy, that being that expansion from Jupiterian energy. And because of that, you're receiving the significant benefic blessings that come from this. This is Sagittarius energy very strongly here. Free spirit. That's your polarity energy here too. So that's very, you know, shadow work, success being done here. You've done the hard work. Look what we have on the bottom. Wow. Ten of swords here. Ten of Swords, Swords being your energy here. And I just spoke on that one, the synergy of this one here in the tens. Coming into some endings here of some very painful shit. Five of Swords, Two of Swords, Three of Swords. Everything I just spoke on. Someone doing, or people doing things to try to win at all costs. Not really thinking ahead or about the consequences of their actions that may be immature. But it being transformative energy for everyone involved. Two of Swords being about indecision. I'm seeing another set of Three of Swords here. Where it was intercepting and interrupting some healing of a Four of Swords here. Seeing Two of Swords here and Two of Swords here. Dealing with a lot of Two of Swords energy. So a lot of indecision when it came to relationships. And people just not really seeing the truth. I feel like you've just been around a lot of sleep people. You being awakened. And realizing, you know, with this indecision stuff, they're really not seeing the power of you and who it is that you are. And they're going to see it when it's too late. Because, again, we have that Eight of Cup energy where you have definitely moved away. And you're not wasting time with any kind of situation when it comes to this indecision because you've dealt with so much. And it being very painful, this being in the center, this Three of Sword energy I'm getting. But it's increasing your knowing, your knowledge and wisdom, that giving you the energy of the uh, the beautiful attitude of gratitude. And being on top of this here is, a, is what I'm getting here with that Three of Swords. Just being on top of it, once you see it, if it presents itself, you're saying no. There's a movie um, titled Nope. And um, I went to see it with my son when we were on vacation. That movie was awesome. I do recommend going to see it. I feel that it definitely speaks to the power of the mind and the connection there. Um, when it comes to the sovereignty that we have and realizing just what it is that we can do for ourselves if we really, if we really, really try. Let me go ahead and shuffle this a few times here. I love this song. This is You're My Star by Tank. And I just feel you're coming into greater things and being surrounded by people who are really going to respect you and treat you well. And just be kind and be uh, upfront and honest. Even if they aren't, I feel you're okay with this and this is a part of that flow. Where you know that anyone who comes across your path, not of integrity, they're going to have to deal with their own stuff. It's not going to be anything that has to do with you. You're definitely making sure of this. Okay, I'm going to leave this. Actually, we're going to switch this around here. We'll put this here. And put this here. I think everything's going to fit. Let's scoot this over. 
Okay. Get a little closer. Your first card. We have a Z strength card in reverse. So with this, I'm just getting the battle is over. You're not fighting anything. This is about that going with the flow. This is a energy of Leo. So you may have been dealing with a Leo and it just being too much exertion of energy. That's unnecessary. Something that may have been about being stuck in the past with someone or a situation, or this having to do with past pattern behaviors and you seeing patternistic things and certain things that are happening with certain people in different areas of your life where it's been a struggle, you realizing you really don't have to do that because you're a magician. You can put your energy into something that's going to produce positivity, so you're over it. This being scorpionic energy as well with the energy of eight being present here. Strong infinity energy. But I'm getting, um, you know, this being you as that magi there. And that being the infinity energy coming from the eight. I'm hearing, I'm um, using your occult energy to take care of yourself and keep yourself protected. This being connected to your ancestors and you being thankful and grateful. There's a lot of gratitude. A very calm energy here too. I just feel that you're very balanced. You being one of the best representations, being twin energy. Let's see what your second card is. Yeah, six of wands. We have success and victory. You rising above situation, moving away from what does not serve you. Having that Ace of Wands here. With that wreath, I'm getting that being the wreath of protection. Being hailed and celebrated. Seen as a great victor here. Six energy, I'm getting lover's energy. That being about you making the choice, choosing you. That's also a card of Gemini. That being your card. Six energy is also six house energy of Virgo. So I'm just getting this being about you really taking the reins, that sovereignty energy, having power over your life, taking your power back from energy vampires, those just, you know, creating these power struggles because they have their own dealings, you realizing you really don't have to take part and having success over this by moving away from it towards greater stability. I'm also seeing three of wands here. And overall, four of wands here before you, just speaking to the structure and stability that you're moving towards and even more into. I feel you've already had this, but there's just been people along the way who have tried to um, shake that up. We have that two energy you're putting behind you, two of wands. Being connected, I'm getting to that two of swords energy and the indecisiveness. Miss action, misfiring, you just being past this here and being seen as a great victor. High success here. Being proud of yourself here too, but also being celebrated very heavily. Your third card. Five of swords in reverse. I don't really think, um, I mean, the meaning of this is, for me, it's about that all being over. You're, I'm, I don't want to say in your own world, but it's about what you're creating and manifesting for yourself is that stability. So anything outside of you that may want to create some kind of struggle, any kind of force of doing what it takes to win at all costs, I just feel that this is over for you. And you're the you're center stage here. The star of the show. That's just speaking to, you know, what's been surrounding you here. Five of Swords and the Strength card in reverse. And it being completely over. You gaining success and power and victory over this. 
that five of swords was a part of that ten of swords and speaking to that ending this being over swords being your energy and then also libra and aquarius five energy i did mention this before being the transformative energy I do feel with this being in reverse, this is also about some adventure that's coming in for you. We have the Empress in reverse. And I'm getting this being connected to that Five of Swords energy. I feel that this is also about a darker energy here and someone that you've been dealing with and connected to. I'm getting a mother energy, possibly. And I'm like with this coming out after the Six of Wands, I do feel that, um, you know, and this is in reverse here. So I, I feel that this is no bother to you. But I do feel that this is about exposure of the energies that have wanted to be a part of some sabotage here. I do feel that this may be connected to the disloyalty here coming from this King of Pentacles and what it is that is within them here. I feel like I'm going to get another card here to speak to the Trinity energy because I do feel that this is a divine person you're dealing with. They're just making the choices. Um, they have potential for this, but they're just making the choices that are keeping them on a low vibe where they're wanting to be in front of you, trying to get your attention here. And that they're also with possibly another person here, this being the mother of their children or... A strong mother energy where they may be connected. And this Empress energy, having this energy of this Five of Swords here. Possibly to try to intervene in a connection that you had with this person. That King of Pentacles in reverse there. The Devil. In reverse. It being over. This is that Trinity energy here that I'm getting. I feel that this is the energy from within you that you've done that self-work on. And in doing so, it's overcome and battled and had success in winning towards this energy here. This still being a part of that King of Pentacles in reverse here. And I feel that with that double energy, it just being about them being obsessed. I'm hearing obsessed. But them also having this toxic connection here to this Empress here. Where a toxic connection has been a Five of Swords energy when it came to you and a connection. It being a power struggle, you being completely over it and doing what you can to move on and move forward. You're getting this out of your way here too as well. I'm going to keep these here. And I don't even think I'm going to clarify these cards. I feel that this is an attempt on some kind of blockage or sabotage here. And you have the power to create a movement of moving right through this into your victory of that ace of wands that wanted to come through for you because you're walking away from this contract over queen of pentacles in reverse that's counterpart energy so this could be even another person that's been involved no wish fulfillment everything's over and look what we have here this being that zero energy of new a new cycle here and it going towards you this being the energy of you your twin energy very balanced very stable with that six energy i'm just getting that being a part of the seven energy coming into the seven energy i was getting seven of wands where you're continuing to stay on your ground and have the higher ground advantage rising above any kind of negativity that may want to present itself in some kind of way. But this is taking a leap of faith on you and towards your stability here. And you're being met with it because you're speaking this to the universe. You're telling all of this to get out of your way here. It may be around you. You're not interested. Alright, we're going to go ahead and go to the clarifiers. We'll clarify the full card. I'm going to leave all these other cards here. Oh, let's see what we have on the bottom here. Yeah, no more of this lack energy. It's over. I feel all those reversals are just speaking to everything you've dealt with. Where it's been a part of a facade here. Connected to that disloyalty and that reversal energy. Initially coming out from the King of Pentacles. 
it all representing what's taking place from within this person here. You being connected to this, you disconnecting yourself, realizing it's been a lot of toxicity, a lot of baggage. So no more of this lack mentality here. Pentacles is earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. This is more the five transformative energy. I'm seeing this V energy, even though this is a Roman numeral five, step, uh, standing for that Virgo energy. You paying attention to the detail and realizing it's the mindset and the power of the mind and what it is that you can truly bring to yourself by not dealing with what is going to have you in lack mode. I feel that you've also been feeling this in some kind of way physically here too. Realizing that by disconnecting yourself that you're also increasing on everything. <laughs> everything. By being connected energetically to certain people who may be not of integrity, you're picking up karmas. And that's a no-no is what I'm hearing. You've realized this and doing what you can. I mean, not only, it's, this isn't a leap. This is like super leap. You're not hesitating. You're not wasting any time. All that other stuff that wants to be around. Again, I just feel you're completely past it, over it. And I'm bothered. Let's go ahead and we'll get to your clarifiers. We'll clarify the strength card in reverse. Healing time. Because it's been interrupted. And that was in that Ten of Swords. Healing time. Because you're over it. Because you're releasing power struggle. What unnecessariness. Is that a word? <laughs> Let's see what we have. We have another four. Stability being very important. We have that four. I said you're already in this. You're moving more into it. You may be seeing four, four, four. So swords energy being your energy again here. And then also Libra and Aquarius. I'm getting, you know, that all those air signs together combo here. Being a strong representation for you. It being supportive energy for you too. Because I was getting humanitarian very strongly. You realizing the importance of your purpose. And not wanting to waste time. That being important here too. Four ones, that's stability, structure, foundation. What it is that you're moving more into, I feel here. This is fire energy, the polarity energy, the success and bounty from you doing the hard work. This is union energy here too, 1111, make a wish. But strong Cancerian energy that's here too as well. This is also the, technically it would be the fourth card that would be coming out. So that being significant there too. And this is also, we're in the month of April. This is a timeless reading, but being in the month of April... That could be significant, speaking to the amount of change that is taking place here for you and very destined. We have the devil behind this. And I feel that these wanted to come out together. These kind of came out over here. This is also a four energy. With this being a card of 15, one and five creating a four, but it also creates that six energy. Connected to the victory. You having power over this. But seeing what was connected, what I'm getting here is that a lot of you have a very strong soulmate, possibly a twin flame, connected to some toxicity here. And this wanting to attempt to affect your structure and foundation and stability. Very simple. And then this being Capricorn energy. So that change that needs to, um, to come through to take place by dealing with this. You've gained greater importance and more movement and action. This being action energy here with the fire towards your stability. And with this wanting to be by itself, I'm just getting it wants to stay that way here too. As a representation of you healing, getting over this, being over this, releasing this, and healing. Clarify the Six of Wands. Mm -hmm. 
clarify these six of wands. <laughs> I'm hearing go team. I've also been seeing, I will say this too, um, GM and MG. And so it made me think of Gemini Moon because that's G and that's M. But I've been seeing that like since early morning this morning before I even started your reading. I do feel that that's speaking to how your presence is um, very prevalent and very helpful and supportive towards the collective energy. And I do feel that um, there's a great call for your energy right now. And you're just being very helpful and kind and loving by doing what it is that you need to do for yourself. It's being a supportive energy for the world here. So thank you. And clarify these six of ones. And I do want to say I'm very grateful as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. I do have um, Gemini Moon placement in Vedic astrology and my D10 chart. And yeah, confirmation right there. That being very important to me. Because um, I'm, I'm really grateful. I have a lot to be grateful for after coming out of some very very dire situations over the last couple of years um but the friendships that i've built over the last six months or so even a year even a year it's been almost a year now and it's just because in that from that year i've made very significant changes for myself <clears throat> excuse me my throat throat chakra here. Um, but I just want to say that um, I am very grateful for the friendships that I do have and the people that are surrounding me at this time in my life. It's been so fun and it's very pleasant and it's delightful. There are some boogers in there, I will say, but I do feel that um, it's just it, they're here to receive that lesson by me being who it is that I am. Because I don't react to that stuff. And I don't intend to either. Um, by doing that, you're giving your power away. That message wanted to come through for some of you, if not all of you. Um, so sorry for the tangent. I'll go ahead and <laughs> keep shuffling. Clarify these six of wands. I just love you all. Clarify these six of wands. All right, we got the Knight of Wands. It's you taking action. It's the lighthearted energy I'm getting, a part of the Sagittarius polarity energy from within you. And then this was in reverse. With this, <laughs> I'm getting let's I'm getting this being behind. You taking the stand here. By being a healed individual here, you really taking a stand for yourself. And saying no, having this just being a hard ass no for anything that does not serve. Now, with the Knight of Wands being right here next to this, we can say, you know, on that lower, I just don't want to take it lower vibe. I don't think that's necessary. I feel that you're just very strong in your stance here. And um, definitely not hesitating to say nope. It's that nope energy that I was getting. I hope that if not all of you have seen that movie. If you have not, please try to see that movie. It's a really good, <laughs> it's a really good movie. Um, but that's what I'm getting here is just a big nope. Anything that wants to pop up that's, you know, bullshit, nope. You just don't have time for the drama. And this lighthearted energy I'm getting, this is what you're in. Like you're having fun, you're enjoying your life because of what you're releasing. You're finding that there's so much more incredible things out there that you could be utilizing your time towards. You manifesting this in for yourself having success and victory here but also some of you i'm getting you know you just being seen as a young one here age ain't nothing but a number is what i'm hearing as well so this is fun energy here because you are staying strong in your energy this is you and your representation here with the swords and then also libra and aquarius this is the this is that polarity right here the fire from Sagittarius and then you being Gemini energy here balanced the twin energy from within you this being important here for you 
You gaining success and victory over this. Taking your power back. Yay. All right, let's clarify the full card. Give me three seconds. Hold on. All right, clarify the full card. This could also be someone taking a leap of faith towards you here. And I do feel with this newness here in this new cycle, you're not standing for any, uh, this King of Swords, you're not standing for anything from the past here. That's just what I'm getting. You're over. It's, and with all those reversals, I feel that that's about you and a Scorpionic energy where you're just completely done. Knowing that anything that is a part of your past that was not working, it's not going to work. So you're not going to waste your time on it. You're looking for new. So I do feel that this could be possibly a new person here. Whether it be romance or not. Giving you a chance. You giving them a chance. Them giving themselves a chance. I feel this is about that energy from within you too. Clarify the fool. Oh, and look where it fell. Let's see what we got. All right, yes, nine of wands in reverse here. I love this. I feel this is about being over the tiredness. It being about endings here too. Nines are about completion. And this wands energy, I feel this is connected to the shadow energy and the polarity energy when it comes to relationships. This is beautiful, I love this. This is fire energy, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, and a Fucus. And I'm just getting it being about turning something into nothing. With this completion energy, we're moving towards that 10 energy here. I'm seeing four wands here on top of all of these wands here in the upright. See that magic there? So I do feel that you're meeting up with a, another magi here. One energy coming, the magician card being right after that full card here. But this, this importance of that four energy, because you have strong four energy in this reading. Also fives. That four of wands speaking very loudly here. It wanting to make itself known. I This is the first time I've noticed this with this card coming out in this way. This nine being also Sagittarius energy. Ninth house energy of Sag. Jupiter energy is a part of this. This is a bountiful blessing that's coming through for you. Connected to a 401, possibly a new and true soulmate of that integrity. What it is that you're putting out to the universe and asking for. Being tired of being tired and being over this here too with this reversal here of the Nine of Wands, which represents being tired. It represents other things too, but I'm not getting that here. And with the Scarab Beetle, that just being about the transmutation of you taking burden energy and making it work in your favor. As I say that, I see that Three of Wands right here and you manifesting. That being your energy, the Three of Wands card. Beautiful. Over the Two of two of Wands energy and that indecision being past this here. That's that Two of Wands right there and that Victory card of that Six of Wands. Ooh, ooh, this is great. Good for you. I love this. And the message that wanted to come through, they want to be all over you here too. If this is about romance, because that card fell right on top of this. They want to be on top of you. <laughs> all right. Yes. Let's see. Oh, and look what we have on the bottom. It's complete. This is this is great success here. Congratulations to those of you who are resonating with this reading here. Wow. It's a separation and a breakdown. You being great magi here of that five of wands here with that four of wands and this one. You broke that up and made it work in your favor, bossed it, created a new four of wands here for yourself and a new ace of wands beginning here and a new start. Kudos, Gemini Moons, this was your bomb-ass reading. I hope that these messages were helpful, enlightening, empowering, and enriching for you. I thank you all so much for your continued love and support. Welcome to all new subscribers, and until we meet again, I wish you all the very best. Take great care. I love you. Peace.